Oh hi, thanks for watching my video. So today we're going to be playing through a little bit of a storyline. I've got my sim here, her name is Willow, and she's going to be, well, not the nicest person. She currently lives on her own in Henford-on-Bagley in this cute little house. Although you might notice she has a baby room, but no baby. Willow's a little bit scheming. And so I came up with a storyline that's a little bit on the cheeky side. And it's also kind of designed to test one of my favourite mods, which is the Relationship and Pregnancy Overhaul mod, aka Woohoo Wellness. So just a brief high level overview of what we're going to be doing today. We're just going to see whether or not I can use the Woohoo Wellness mod to trick another sim into thinking that we haven't cheated on them. <laughs> so if you play The Sims without mods, The Sims 4, and you play with a couple where one can't get the other pregnant, usually two female sims or two male sims, but in any case, the only option to have a baby would be adoption. And if you're playing with a couple where one can't get the other pregnant, if one partner suddenly gets pregnant, then the other partner gets a mood buff that's kind of along the lines of, huh, something doesn't seem right here. I reckon they might have cheated. How else could they have got pregnant? But the Woohoo Wellness mod introduces the opportunity to have alternative pregnancies, such as surrogacy, artificial insemination, that kind of thing. So I'm going to see if I can use that to my sneaky, snidey advantage. Also, Willow, it's 4am. You should probably go to bed. Her name's Willow Summers. I gave her a name that I thought would be a porn star name. She kind of looks like a Willow Summers, doesn't she? So my plan is, tomorrow we're going to get out there. We're going to find ourselves a partner. The only requirement is that this partner cannot get us pregnant. So I have made a sim who also lives in Henford-on-Bagley, so I'm sure we'll bump into them while we're out and about. We're basically gonna fall in love, get married, all of that, and then as a couple, we're gonna agree that it's probably time to have a baby. We're gonna sign up for artificial insemination, but I will set Willow's fertility at zero, so that I will know, no thank you, welcome wagon, so that I will know that the artificial insemination doesn't work. But then, we're gonna get a little affair going on with a sim that can get us pregnant. We're gonna get knocked up, take a pregnancy test, and see if our partner would believe that we haven't cheated and that the pregnancy is a result of artificial insemination. You can really tell how much time I've put into thinking this through. <laughs> so yeah, essentially we're testing Woohoo Wellness to see if I can use it to deceive my sims. So Willow, no time like the present, get dressed girl. It's Nearly 11am, which means it's probably a good time to head down to the pub and see if we can meet the love of our lives that we're going to cheat on and destroy all of their hopes and dreams. Let's go, Willow. Alright, gnome's arms. We'll just pop down there for some pub food and a pint. How are your needs doing? Oh, you're fine. A little bit peckish. Just a little bit. Maybe we'll order a little bit of cottage pie. She's growling at the barkeep. I mean, she's ready to get her flirting on this girl. Oh, I think that might be the sim. What's her name again? Lissy. Oh yeah, Lissy. Fancy bumping into you here. Let's go and introduce ourselves. I deliberately made Lissy like a really nice person. Yeah, this double cross is really gonna sting. All right, let's just make idle chit chat. You know what I should have done? I should have brought gifts because I feel like that would really, um, would really help me build this relationship quicker. Oh fuck, I forgot we're a vegetarian and we just ate cottage pie. <laughs> Whoopsie. Do I have anything in my inventory I could give as a gift? No. What if I order like some food and then give it to Lissy as like a present? Can I do that? If I order, what would be a sweet gift? Oh, pumpkin scones, that would be quite sweet. That would be a cute little high friend gift. Right, wait, don't eat it. Do not eat the scones. Oh, I can't put it in my inventory. Oh, oh, well, that was a waste, wouldn't it? We're feeling pretty flirty. Maybe we'll try and laugh this chick into dating territory if we just tell her a few jokes, joke about politicians, let her know that we're keeping up with current affairs. She might find that attractive. 
We've got everyone's attention. Well done, Willow. You are the life and soul of the pub. Wait, is Lissy leaving? Is she going? Okay, I think she is. Right, let's go home and invite her over. I like Henford on Bagley. Kind of reminds me of Cheltenham. Okay, now get on the phone. Invite Lissy to hang out. Lissy will be right oh. over. And there she is. Almost too easy. You like my house, Lissy? Maybe you could stay the night. I could give her some money. Maybe I'll give her a hundred simoleons. She might see that as a very kind gift. Yep, it's for you. I think we should have a deep conversation, talk to each other about our hopes and dreams. Bring up children, maybe. She's romantic, family-oriented, and good. We should make a flirtatious joke, see if we can take things down a romantic turn. Offer a rose and kiss hand. Things are getting pretty suggestive. Oh, Lissy, what are you suggesting? I think we should go for our first kiss. First kiss, and then we'll ask to be girlfriend. Oh, bless him. Oh, Willow, you're such a dirtbag. Well, our romantic um, relationship is way up there. I don't know if we're even friends. Okay, so we can woohoo, it looks like. So we'll woohoo with Lissy, and then maybe we'll propose. All in a day's work. I kind of feel less bad about knowing that I'm going to cheat on this sim because of how fast it moved, you know? I feel like if this was an entire 10 part let's play dedicated to building a relationship with this sim, perhaps I would have more of a heavy heart. Okay, so how is our relationship? Ah, oh, first ever woohoo partner, girlfriend, sweethearts. We don't really have a friendship though. Maybe we should ask her to move in, ask to join household. You want to live with me? Yes. Okay, sweet. Should we ask her about life milestones and memories? I bet they're all going to be revolving around Willow. Cheated on a partner, kissed someone, had woohoo. Who did you cheat on? What partner did you have? Well, this is going swimmingly. So let's start with a proposal. We'll propose to Lissy, and then maybe we'll see if we can meet someone in the time between the engagement and the wedding so that we already have someone we can go to for a pregnancy. Oh, what a beautiful moment. True love's kiss. Well, it might be a bit too late in the evening to go and meet someone new. So how about we just make some dinner? We have a cozy night in. We'll make some dinner. We'll get some sleep. And then tomorrow, we'll see if we can find someone that can be on the baby making list. All right, Lissy, dinner is served. Maybe we should start the ball rolling on baby talk. Ask if Lissy wants children. I'd like having children. Okay, great, great. That's what I was hoping you'd say. You better get some sleep, Willow. We've got a busy day tomorrow. All right, Lissy's hungry, so why don't you go serve breakfast and then you desperately need the toilet. Oh, my bathtub disappeared. What the fuck? There you go. And then take a bath. Okay, Willow, plan. We are going to travel, because I think I know just the sim we should use for this experiment. Oh, I guess not. I guess Don Lothario's moved out. All right, let's just go to this house with karaoke legends, and we could get with uh, Akira. Okay, go knock on the door. All right, this doesn't have to be anything special, so we'll just introduce ourselves, and then we'll take some selfies with him. I just kind of want to leave this house with the kind of relationship with Akira to be romantic enough that if we stop by again, we can literally just woohoo, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am kind of thing. So we'll just take some photos with him, build up the friendship, and then we'll get flirty. Then we'll go home and marry our fiance, and then maybe agree to do artificial insemination. Let's see how he reacts if we try and kiss his hand. I mean, he's pretty happy, so I think I could easily just change him into a flirty mood. Oh yeah, just like that. One interaction and there we go. You know what? While I'm here... Oh, I think one of them said something embarrassing. While I'm here... Oh, I was going to see if I could set his fertility rate, but I don't think I can. Where the fuck did he go? Did he leave? Yeah, he just walked out. He just left the house. All right, fine. If you're going to leave me unattended in your home, then I guess I'll just go ahead and help myself to all your food. The cheek of it. All right, well then, in that case, I'm going to go home, buy a wedding arch, get married, and then maybe try and arrange a later meet-up with Akira. All right, let's buy a wedding arch. We'll get married in the great outdoors in our cute little house. 
Okay, let's just make things official now. We've had a long engagement, we've gotten to know each other. I think it's about time we put it in writing. What a beautiful moment. Oh, I'm so happy for you guys. Okay, we're hitched. Can we talk any more about those kids? Discuss opting for artificial insemination. Yeah, let's discuss it. I hope the game doesn't prompt me to actually do it right now. We're just discussing it. It's just putting the cards on the table, seeing how we feel about it. Okay, yes, Lissy is totally on board. Perfect, so we've both agreed... We've both agreed artificial insemination is the deal. In agreement, Willow's partner agreed for the couple to try and get pregnant through artificial insemination. She should have a mood buff as well. Oh, I don't think she has a mood buff as well. But that's fine. We know she's agreed to it. Perfect, perfect. So now, Willow, we are going to head out and we'll take Akira with us. That's right. We'll just go to the Shrieking Llama bar. Okay, now I have to be super careful because my sims have started doing this thing where my sims' romantic partners just randomly turn up wherever I am, which makes playing this game really difficult. Oh, fuck, is that her? No. Oh, sorry guys, I'm just being paranoid. I just need to try and get our relationship high enough so that the next time I see him, I don't have to do anything else. We can just get to it and woohoo. Oh, bless, she's still in her wedding dress. I feel kind of bad for Akira as well. I mean, he's just sort of getting caught in the crossfire of all this. Okay, the option to woohoo in a bush has come up, so that's good. So that means that we can go home and actually put the wheels in motion to this deceitful plan. I hope this works. I've never tried anything like this before. Okay, so... When it comes to Lissy, there should be nothing else to discuss. This sim has already agreed to this. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So, if I, if I click on Willow, I should have the option to just go and get artificially inseminated, right? Yeah, attempt artificial insemination. Okay. So before I do that, let's just set your fertility rate to zero so that I know that the artificial insemination will not work. Oh, it's saying I can't send her because she's infertile. Oh, God. Okay, I'm gonna have to set it a little bit higher than that. What if I just set it to, like, two? So there's a very, very slim chance that she could get pregnant. Okay, lowest chances of success. Okay, we're gonna go for that one. So let's go for artificial insemination. Let the lab pick a random sample. And hopefully we should come back unsuccessful, but she should have a mood buff that's like questioning whether or not it worked. So all I have to do is try and get her pregnant by Akira while that mood buff is still active. I say, like I've really thought about it this much. Oh, what the fuck, Akira? What are you doing here? You just turn up like that. I'm going to have to send you home. See what I mean? Just go away. This game is just its trying to catch me out. Don't ruin my schemes, Sims 4. Okay, hopefully the insemination attempt will have worked. Does she have a mood buff? Will I be pregnant from insemination attempts? Okay, brilliant. So while you still have that mood buff, and before we go and take a pregnancy test, let's go and travel somewhere with Akira. We'll go to his house, and then I'll have to remember to change her fertility. All right, let's change fertility to 100% and woohoo with Akira. Imagine if after all this effort, she's not pregnant by the end of it. Why the fuck are you following us? Okay, Miko is clearly taking a stand. She's obviously quite jealous, so let's go woohoo in the other bed. I wonder if she follows us to the other room. Okay, now we're going in the other room, Miko, so you stay away. Okay, she just wanted... Is she crying? I think she might have a thing for Akira. Okay, perfect. No protection was used. Now let's head home and take a pregnancy test. All right, girl. Take a test. Will this end with a pre-approved miracle or will it turn into a cheating scandal? That's what we're trying to find out. That's what this whole video is about. So let's see. Willow is pregnant. Inconvenient from out of relationship pregnancy. Okay, so she seems to know that the baby did not come from artificial insemination. Huh. Huh. Oh no, I don't think it's worked. She seems suspicious. She's got 
horror from out of relationship pregnancy. Lissy realised her partner is pregnant, but certainly not by her. They haven't woo tooed together any time recently. Quite a way to learn of your partner cheating. Oh no, so she notes. She knows it wasn't from the artificial insemination. My trick to deceive her failed. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Is there some way I can lie about it? Well, I don't think I can lie about it, but I have a plan. I am going to travel and go and talk to Akira. I'm going to tell him that he fathered my child. I'm going to have my wife accept the child as her own. And I'm going to try something else. <laughs> so we're going to have this baby. And then, I can't believe I'm still rolling with this. And then I'm going to get her to get pregnant through artificial insemination successfully. And I want to see if I can convince Akira that he fathered both babies. I just, I really want to see how manipulative, how big of a game I can play here. So, Akira, family, pregnancy, share big news. He will be thrilled, I'm sure. Tell Akira he fathered Willow's child, the truth. Yes, we will tell Akira that he is the father, which is the truth, he is. Okay, he's thrilled, great, great, right, let's go home. See if we can get the wife to accept this baby as her own baby. And then we're going to get pregnant again. <laughs> I just really want a very complicated family. Stuck together in a web of lies. Okay, so... Lissy, I know you're upset about the whole, you know, cheating thing. But we are married, you know? And I am pregnant. Tell you consider Willow's child as yours. Yes. This baby may as well be yours. I mean, you're going to have to feed it, change its diapers. So you're probably better off coming to terms and making peace with that right now. Okay, she's telling her that she accepts the baby. Uh-huh. We're cheering. We got away with it. Didn't even have to really confront any demons about cheating gate. Willow's partner said they were willing to consider Willow's latest child as their own, despite the fact that the pregnancy happened through Willow cheating. This is a great relief to know that Willow is not alone in this, no matter how each of them may feel about this child. Yes, yes. Well, Willow, there's no time like the pregnant. <laughs> no time like the present. Let's just get you in labour, and I have noticed that she is pregnant with twins. So... We're going to have these two and then have another baby in the works. I'm not sure if one bedroom was enough, really, but come on, Willow, you can do this. All right, now you're just dragging it out. You're being a bit of a drama queen. Come on. We had a baby boy. We will call him Flynn and a baby girl who we will call Janice. I'm guessing the other baby's popped up by the bed. Oh, no, it's just popped up in the middle of the room. Okay, great, great. Well... We have our twins. Now, I don't know if I have to have another conversation with the wife about artificial insemination or if she's still happy for me to just go ahead. Yeah, we already discussed it. Perfect, perfect. So in that case, Willow, let's just make sure that you are as fertile as can be. 100%. Alternative pregnancies... Attempt artificial insemination. We'll go for the most expensive one because we need this one to work. And then once baby number three, once we're pregnant with baby number three, I'm going to lie to Akira. Tell him he fathered that baby. See if he believes me. Oh, look at that. That panel there. Not Lissy's biological daughter. That's going to be a tarnish on your, your page forever, Flynn. Hopefully the insemination attempt will have worked. Well, one way to find out. Well, tell me, Willow, was it a success? Yeah, Willow is pregnant. Great success. Why don't you share the big news with your wife? She's going to be thrilled, I'm sure. Oh, the wife's got a mood buff. Successful artificial insemination. Yeah, that's right, Lissy. No walking away now. Right, um, before we progress with, these pre with this pregnancy, I am going to age up these two so that we've got two toddlers waddling around. Make room for the other baby. There's Flynn. Oh, bless him. He looks like his dad, doesn't he? Oh, that's going to be a constant reminder every day for Lissy, isn't it? Poor cow. Then we've got little Janice, look. Oh, spitting image of her biological father. Oh, sorry, Lissy. 
Just a roll of the dice sometimes, eh? Right. Well, um, Lissy, if you don't mind... Oh, actually, it's 4am. I was going to say, if you don't mind, you could watch the kids. But really, perhaps we could give it another day. I'm going to have to buy another bed. Oh, we don't really have the space for twins. Right, I've got an idea. We don't really need the dining table, do we? So let's just stick the toy chest over there. Can you get toddler bunk beds? I don't think you can, can you? Because they'll just fall off. No, I was going to have to do that bed there. Okay. So we have enough beds for the twins. And we have a bed for the upcoming baby as well. Hopefully this time it's just the one. I mean, in fairness, Lissy, we might have even done you a favour. Because if Akira believes that he's the father of all of our kids, you know, that is some serious child support. We wouldn't have to work again. So I, I know it was bad, but I guess you could say it's not the end of the world. I mean, I wouldn't go so far as to say I did us a favour... But, you know, you could see how some people could see it that way. Okay, it's a new day. Let's go meet Akira and, um, and lie to his face. Come on, Willow, you sneaky little sneak. Just meet at the pub again, shall we? Yeah, it's our local. Okay. Hello, my love. Share big news. I don't know if he'll believe us because the last time he woohooed with us... Well, it, it was before we were pregnant the first time. So I'm not sure if he will believe... I'm not sure if he will believe that it's his kid, but he, he kind of seems like thick as shit. Oh, no. I should have woohooed with him first because now there's no option to lie to him about being the father. Oh, shit. I should have waited. Oh, Carla, you stupid bitch. Well, can I at least ask him for some money? Can I at least get him to give me some money for the babies we already have? Organised to provide for the baby. Yeah. Give me some fucking money. Oh, and, and now he conveniently walks away. Did you see that? He just left. Second we start talking money. Oh, sorry, busy. Gotta go. Ugh. Although I, I don't know what else I was expecting. I mean, plan A was Don Lothario. And I doubt he would have been much better. How are you getting on, Lissy? You adapting to life as a mum? All right, well, I think, you know, cozy little cottage with three kids. I think that's just fine. So, Willow, why don't you go and have baby number three? But you know what? After this baby's born, I kind of feel like we could make space for one more. They've got some money in the bank. Neither women have to work or anything. They could dedicate... Well, Lissy could dedicate to being a parent, you know, hands-on, stay at home. And Willow can just fuck around. Another girl, we will call her Dolores. Willow and Jonas had a baby. Oh, who's your daddy, Dolores? Oh, this random guy, Jonas. Who, Jonas looks like he's already been spreading his seed. How long have you been a sperm donor, Jonas? Does Lissy recognize Joan? Does Lissy recognize Dolores as her child? Yeah, daughter. Okay, that makes sense. But on the family tree, it still shows us stepchildren. So I'm thinking what I might do, we're going to get pregnant just one more time. Because I really want to see if I can convince Akira that he fathered a child that he didn't father. So I'm guessing I have to have the artificial insemination talk again with the wife. Because, you know, we did discuss it. What the fuck, Akira? What are you doing here? Oh, this guy has no chill. Send home. You don't just turn up unannounced to see your children. Okay. Okay, well, apparently the artificial insemination conversation still stands. So, what I need to do this time, I have to do this in a certain order. So, we're going to go meet Akira at the pub. We'll shag him in a bush. I'll set her fertility to low. Then we'll get pregnant through artificial insemination. Then we'll see if the sucker believes us. When we tell him he's the father. Who needs Jerry Springer when you've got The Sims 4? And who needs to inflict physical torture like removing the pool ladder when you can do so much psychological torture? Which is so much more satisfying. Okay, uh, so before we shag this guy, let's just make sure... Make sure that we're not going to get pregnant by this because we did not get away with our first little lie to the wife. So it is very important that we don't have another little hiccup. This little rendezvous has to stay between Willow and Akira. Lissy cannot find out about this. I don't think she'd take us back after, like, a second cheating scandal. You know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me kind of thing. Um, 
Oh, why can't I woohoo him in a bush? What's the problem? Are there are no bushes around? We don't have a woohoo bush around here? Oh, that's right. It was in the Windenburg bush, wasn't it? Oh, I'll just buy another one. He's feeling tense, but too tense to turn it down. Oh, no, I didn't think so. I didn't think so. Oh, Willow, you're such a bitch. You're such a bad bitch. Breaking hearts all around. Seriously, though, this is going to be the last pregnancy now. Okay, woohoo. Done. Now we will go. Go and get artificially inseminated. And I'll just wait here at the pub, I guess. What do you want, Akira? Been thinking about getting to know Vlad better. Yeah, go for it. I don't give a shit what you do. Care about you. Okay, we're back. Well, we're already here in the pub. We may as well just use the pub toilets. Take a pregnancy test. Hopefully that was a success. And you know what? Oh, pregnant. Okay, right. Let's... Where, where's Akira? Where is he? He's over there. Oh, please tell me I can tell him he fathered the child. Please let me lie. Oh, shit. It's still not coming up that I can lie to him about being the father. And what the fuck? Lissy still thinks that I've cheated on her, even though we're pregnant through artificial insemination. This is some bullshit. Right, okay, I am committed to this. I'm gonna end this pregnancy through MC Command Center. Okay. I think maybe he doesn't come up because her fertility was, like, infertile when they woohooed. So I'm gonna make her at five, and then that way, with pregnancy being a possibility, he might believe that he fathered another child. And also the fact that we did it in a bush. Maybe that might have something to do with it. So me and Akira are going to go back to his house. We're going to woohoo in a bed. Maybe try for a baby if we can. I just, I really want to lie to both my partners. Why is that so hard to achieve? Okay, woohoo. Let's go woohoo. Okay, we will woohoo. And I'm thinking, you know, our wife thinks we cheated. Which we did, but she wasn't supposed to know that. She thinks we cheated because we're pregnant through artificial insemination. So I'm kind of tempted... I don't know, I was gonna say kind of tempted to just do it through MC Command Center, but... I don't know, I may as well go for artificial insemination. So we're gonna go get artificially inseminated. We'll come back, we'll take a pregnancy test, and hopefully then we can lie to Akira about him being the father of our baby. Okay, let's take a pregnancy test. Oh, Willow is not pregnant. Well, shit. All right, let's see if we can do it through MC Command Center then. Oh, Lissy is an option. Okay, let's let's have a biological child with our wife. But can I lie to Akira about it? I think I have to take another pregnancy test, don't I? To at least find out that we're pregnant again. Get the fuck out, Miko. What is your problem? You have no <laughs> privacy barriers. Okay, Willow is pregnant. Great, great. Okay, let's share our big news. Somehow, I don't think I'm going to get the option to lie to him about whether or not he's the father of the baby. We'll try organising to provide for the baby again, see if we can get some money. Well, I guess I only get one chance at lying about the paternity of the baby. Oh, he didn't like me talking to him about money. Oh, well, fuck you then, Akira. Okay, well, let's go home and give our wife the good news that we have somehow, by some miracle, naturally got pregnant by her. Overall, though, I'm pretty happy. I've got a boyfriend who fathered two of my children who has no idea that, that we have a wife and a, another child that we had with her through artificial insemination. And we also have a wife who does know that we cheated in order to have the twins, but doesn't know that we slept with the twins' dad twice since then. What a mess, what a mess. Tell Lissy she fathered Willow's child. Yeah, we will, I'm sure. Lissy will be thrilled to hear the good news. Well, I think overall, Lissy is pretty happy about that. And I think for me, that might be enough of a mess as I'm willing to make. So before we end this video, let's quickly see how the land lies with our sim profiles. Lissy's feelings towards Willow. They had a child together, they're married, they're soulmates, but she does know that Willow cheated. To be honest, that's not too bad, actually. That's not too bad. What about Lissy's sentiments towards, uh, Willow's sentiments towards Lissy? Yeah, same, same kind of shit. First ever woohoo partner, cheated on. Do we have any sentiments with Akira? We're creeped out and need a little space. 
because Akira wanted... He asked me to be his best friend, I said no. Then he asked me to be his girlfriend, we said no. I mean, take a hint. And on that note, I'm going to end this video here. Was it a bit pointless? Yeah. Was it a bit of a mess? Yeah. But sometimes it's fun to just dick about in The oh. Sims. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please like and subscribe. You know I love it when you do that. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.